Up next is the tip of the week. This is when we show you a trick or two on how to use a certain feature on your phone or within a given app. And now for this week's episode, here's your tip of the week. And we close this week with a tip of the week. And this is about linking a second phone or device to your WhatsApp account. Warren here for Blind Android Users Podcast, 10 for episode 174 tip of the week. This is showing you the companion mode found in WhatsApp. In other words, how you can link your other phone to your WhatsApp account. This is a feature that was introduced back in April of last year, 2023, and I'm delighted to be demonstrating that here today. The first step is to download WhatsApp on the phone that you would like to use as a companion to your main phone running the WhatsApp app. I will show you that here. I got both of my phones. I got my Pixel phone running WhatsApp as the primary device, and I got my Galaxy S23 Plus running WhatsApp here as the companion device. Here's the first step that we do. The first step is to launch WhatsApp. I'll now tap on WhatsApp on my Galaxy S23 Plus. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Welcome to WhatsApp. Out of pager. Of course, so you follow the prompts and choose your language. Welcome to WhatsApp. Choose your language to get started. Checked. Check box. English. Enlist. And you just go through the list of languages and choose the one that is your language. And then at the bottom. Next. Button. Welcome to WhatsApp. The next page, of course, is where all that agreement is. Welcome to WhatsApp. And, you know, at Read the bottom. Read our privacy policy. Tap. Yes, the agree. Agree and continue. Allow WhatsApp to send you notifications. Allow. And we button. come to notifications. Of course, I'm going to tell allow. Phone number. Showing dial keyboard. WhatsApp. Now, Editing. it's asking phone number. for Edit our box. phone number. And that's the most critical part. Instead of putting in your phone number here, though, what we want to do is to tap on the more options found near the top right corner. And here's what I'm talking about. More options. Button. Keyboard hidden. Pop-up window. Link as companion device. In list. Tapping on the more options. Now we have a menu that pops up. And the first item here is link as a companion device. Below that, though, it's just the help. Help. Let's tap on link as companion. Link as companion device. WhatsApp. Back. Button. Out of list. Tapping on that places a big QR code in the middle of your phone, and below that, it gives you instructions on how you can go about linking it to your primary device. Here's what I'm talking about. I'll quickly show you that. Or tell the screen reader to read what is here. Here's what I'm talking about. Open WhatsApp on your primary phone. I'm just going to say read all. 2. Tap menu overflow underscore menu underscore icon on Android or settings settings underscore icon on iPhone. 3. Tap link devices and then link a device. 4. Point your phone to this screen to capture the code. And that's the instructions. So basically now I need to go to my Pixel phone that has the primary device. And let's get started. Folder. Messaging. Four or more items. Telegram. And now I'm going to tap on WhatsApp. WhatsApp has three notifications. WhatsApp. Showing items and 1 now to 14 that I've of on WhatsApp, I'm going to tap on the More Options on the top right corner. More Options. Pop-up window. New group. In list. And here, we move to the third item in the list, which is Link Devices. Link Devices. Link Devices. Navigate up. And now, we need to find a link a device. Link a device. Unlock to link a device. Now it's Touch the fingerprint sensor. Tap to cancel authentication. Button. Authenticated. And now that I have done this, my camera is opened. And now I'll point it at my Galaxy S23. Log into Logging your in. primary phone. Progress. 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 Stays in progress. 
What is that? Devices. Zero link a percent. device. Progress button. indicator. One of progress thick. bar. Link a device. Sixty-six percent. Link a device. Initialize button. In progress. One of six. Progress. Progress bar. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. February twenty-eighth, twenty twenty. There we go. My device has been linked, and that's how you go about linking your device as a companion device on your WhatsApp account. You can link up to five devices. I really wish WhatsApp wouldn't do stuff like this. Like, why can't it just work like Messenger and Telegram? Like, you log in and all your stuff's there. Why? Why do they? I mean, it's better than not being able to do it at all. But this is kind of really annoying. It is really annoying, but at least, though, um, you know, <laughs> you can at least use it with that walk around. I, I don't know what the big problem is. You know, if I want to use my uh, WhatsApp on, you know, whatever, how many devices, that's my choice, right? This is what I like Telegram for. Uh, Telegram doesn't care. You want to use 100 devices, that's your problem. Go ahead and use it, you know. I like that, but just trying to restrict people to, um, you know, using only a few devices. And I mean, uh, it didn't even happen until last year. And then, you know, you see the uh, hoops you got to jump through to be able to uh, have that companion device. It's just absolutely stupid. But at least, though, we do have it, right? Yeah. I mean, the other part of the mess of forest as well, like Facebook Messenger doesn't make you do this. You just log in and all your messages are there. It's like, why Why is this so difficult? Um, I haven't actually linked a second phone, but I have linked uh, WhatsApp web on the PC. There is a there is a, an app, but I just I just tend to use the website. But um, the process is very similar. Um, I've had to do that for work purposes. But uh, yeah, as you say, at least at least you can now do it. I like it, you know, um, and I had to install WhatsApp, you know, just to to play with that. Yeah, I had a virtual WhatsApp number. So if you have my number, you're not going to find me on WhatsApp. So it's using a virtual number. How did you go about? Oh, yeah, you didn't. WhatsApp didn't generate the virtual number. You, uh, you, you went and got one from somewhere else and stuck it in WhatsApp. Yeah, I used uh, yeah. my hashed uh, number. Yeah. Uh, and assigned, you know, it, uh, assigned it to WhatsApp. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was actually thinking about using my Google Voice uh, number, and then I just told myself, hey, you know what? Why not just use your hashed number? So if you have my hashed number uh, and you look me up on WhatsApp, you're going to see me on there because that's the one that I'm using. So speaking of WhatsApp, until recently, it was impossible to use it on Android tablets. You know, now I got my Samsung S9 FE. You know, I never thought that I could use it on my tablet, but recently they made it possible to use it on your tablet, like just like a secondary device, as they demonstrated. But I mean, it's already 2024 and they recently made it possible. It's such a shame. Yeah. The other big reason I don't like WhatsApp, obviously, is that you can't hide your phone number uh, like you can on Telegram. So um, a lot of uh, that's fine when you're messaging contacts. Obviously, one of the the big WhatsApp selling points is groups. So, and I don't think there's a way to to hide your number if you join a WhatsApp group. So even on Signal, if you're using Signal, you can also hide your number. But on WhatsApp, all you need to do is share your number with the people that you want to talk with, and this is not really convenient in some circumstances no because it's not how a lot of people use whatsapp either so um you know for instance there's a there's a big class group uh my daughter's school where all the you know the 30 parents are on whatsapp it's used here for little neighborhood uh groups you know perhaps people in an apartment block yeah. or a project so there might be a whatsapp group for that and i don't, I don't so, want my phone number on groups like that Warren will know what I mean. You know, being a handsome guy every day, getting better every day, you get a lot of calls and messages. <laughs> exactly. <on your> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but if you if you will if you will uh, join groups for people with um, uh, uh, mental health issues who are also blind, then yeah, I suppose you will. You will get oh, you will. oh brother. people thinking that you and Warren are good looking. Oh brother! No, no, that's not the case. It's, I mean, I'm not, you know, the... <laughs> listen, Sally. This yeah. guy, he's just being a belly acre. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, look at you and I. 
Ah, oh, very <laughs> handsome kids. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, tell you what it is. You um, you you joined you joined the group before suffering with symptoms from COVID nineteen. They've lost their sense of taste. Yeah, They've lost yeah. Their sense of taste. Of COVID nineteen. That's what so, it is. Yeah. They lost their sense of taste. <laughs> they lost their sense of taste and everything else. <laughs> uh, but you know, here's what I found rather interesting. You know, with WhatsApp, with all the European uh, uh, DMA or whatever Digital Markets uh, Act or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they, because uh, the Europeans are forcing them to do something, and they said, "Oh, you know, it's going to break." I think that implementation is taking place on the 11th of April, and uh, they're talking about. The fact that you know they use a signal pro- protocol, and so I'm I'm saying, hey, you know what? So if they're using something from Signal, Signal is one of those great apps that kind of less melodious, uh, but it's a great app. I, I kind of like Signal. It's just that uh, some things are a little bit funky on there, but not a lot of people use it when compared to the likes of WhatsApp and Telegram, or else I, it probably would be my choice of um, you know that type of app. Yeah, Signal is definitely good, and it's really less uh, cumbersome if you want to use it. There are not so many details. I mean, all you do is just message, voice call, video call, that's all. Uh, and slightly le- less linked to Russia than Telegram is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that the Russians even have access to Telegram. The guy fled Russia uh, no, to no, go into the they, Arab they world, cannot right? use on. Yeah. Yeah, it is bad. In, in, in yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, even bad been, in Spain lately. Yeah, there have been interesting media reports though about uh, things that the Russians appear to have been able to access on Telegram, though, which uh, has made people speculate that perhaps he hasn't quite fled Russia as much as uh, as much <laughs> as the claim. Yeah. Uh, all, all tied up with the Ukraine invasion. That uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, so Sally, yeah. are you saying uh, Spain banned uh, Telegram too? Yeah, there was some discussion going on because of those uh, fake messages and things like that. And it was banned in Spain, but I'm not sure if it's still banned or not. There were some ah. protests uh, in the government side. Interesting. I, I didn't know that. And there are some rumors that even WhatsApp is going to like add some features of Telegram where you can set your username so you don't need to share your phone number to contact that's going on in the betas there is some side channel upgradation going on in the betas if you are in the beta version of whatsapp in the apple valley then you can make your username right now oh well that that will solve the problem or it'll solve that problem well, anyway that would make whatsapp more attractive let, if they do that. let me say the final word since we are talking about whatsapp WhatsApp accessibility on Android is absolutely crap. I don't want to say more. You know, you, you need to scroll many times to move through the wi- voice messages, and this is killing me. On the other side, on the fruit wheel, as Warren says, you have all those actions, but on Android, you have nothing. You need to scroll many times to move through the messages. You, you, hear, you first hear the person's name and then phone number and play button and the slider. Oh my God, four times swiping through the voice messages. <laughs> That's why you don't need to be swiping, uh, Sally. Uh, forget the swiping. <laughs> but yeah, no, seriously, that's kind of annoying. Um, and uh, of course, I've, I've heard from some of my friends, and um, I, I realized that when they try to record voice messages, of course, you hear a uh, talkback or you know screen reader coming through as, as well at the beginning of it. And uh, uh I don't know. Some of these developers sometimes fix things and then break some things. I mean, I try to answer double tapping with two fingers. And, you know, last year when I tested it with uh, with Alan, it worked. And I tried it this time. It just wasn't working. I had to tap on the answer in the middle of the phone, at the bottom of the phone. Kind of stupid. Yeah. Um the other thing about it as well, especially if you sort of put your min- finger down mid-thread in a WhatsApp conversation, it, it can take you a little while to orient yourself out to work out what's a reply and what's an actual message because it's not it's not delineated as brilliantly as it could be. I mean, you get there eventually, but um, uh, they could they could make that a little bit more obvious as well. I think. Don't even talk about a reply, uh, Ed. It's one of the things that I really wouldn't be using this thing for. So I long press a message. 
and I'm seeing the uh, you know reactions there in the middle of the yeah. phone, and where the uh, you know delete forward reply and all of that are near the top of the phone. I can't; those are not exposed. I had to try to swipe to close. You know uh, this. You have to hit back. It, it takes a, yeah, and it takes a yeah. while to. And when I do that, the whole thing disappeared. I had to try it several times, and I'm like, forget this. Yeah. I'm not going to be. The, the reliable way to do that on WhatsApp is to hit back. Um, you, you you long press the message and then invite the back gesture, and you will see reply. But yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I I, I don't have a back button. I use a you know back gesture on my phone. Yeah. You know, the, and once I do that. It closes both the reactions and oh. the top, you know, the, the, toolbar. Yeah, the back button doesn't. Set. I've got reply. The message the stays. Option, yeah, yeah. The other option could be long pressing and sliding to the right side, and it will give you the reply directly. Oh, oh okay. So if I long press the message, then I, s I slide my finger to the right. That will give me the reply. Absolutely, it like replies the message. Okay, that's what I'll employ then, because to be honest, this is so frustrating. I'm like, there's no way under heaven I'm going to be using this. Yeah. And just on Sally's point about uh, swiping, uh, it doesn't reduce all the number of swipes, and there might be many reasons you don't want to do it. But if you save uh, the, the WhatsApp number in your contacts, so instead of saying the number and then going, maybe, Ed, if you just save it, then you, you won't get that. Um, you'll have, you'll have reduced by one the number of times you have to swipe, but you will obviously have quite a large contact directory of people you don't really want to ring. Yeah, but so, I don't want to add all those people. Well, to well this is it. So, <laughs> this, is, this, this is it. So, so it kind of depends how how annoying that extra swipe is, and it depends what it depends what it depends what WhatsApp groups you join as well. So whether whether or not that is a thing you want to do. Yeah, I think for me it's Telegram. I, I really like Telegram. Yeah, well, I've mentioned this before. So I don't know if I did it on the podcast. I certainly did it on the podcast group message. I was typing a message on Telegram, and my phone went flat. And I logged onto my other device, and all the text was still in the edit field. It didn't even miss a character. Exactly. I and then I know. <laughs> and I, the other thing we mentioned this last week, I think you know, you're typing message in in a WhatsApp, and you know, jumps to the send button. I, I noticed that yesterday when I was uh, you know demonstrating this uh, WhatsApp, you know, linking devices. So I, I don't know, man. I, it, WhatsApp they need to fix a lot of things. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, as as we said, at least you can link devices now. All good things must end. Thus, it's curtain drawing time, bringing us to the close of this week's episode. Coming up, though, we give you information on how to get hold of us. That brings us to the end of this week's episode. Austin, how can people get in touch with us? To contact us, you can send an email to contact us at blindandroidusers.com. You can join a mailing list by sending an email to blindandroidusers plus subscribe at groups.io. You can join our Telegram, Facebook, Discord, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The links for everything will be at the bottom of the show notes and also in the video description of the YouTube channel. And also the links are in the websites panel of the YouTube channel. Well, thank you very much for listening, everybody. Say bye-bye to the nice people. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for listening to us and looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you for episode 175 next week. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Blind Android Users Podcast. Until we see you next week, don't forget to leave us your comments and suggestions via our email contact or using any of our social media sites. Have a great week.